1996, Nintendo released the original Pokemon on Game Boy. We all remember it. We all played it on the bus, in the back of the bus. This no, is we a game. No, we didn't. I was we not all doing play- that. Girls didn't play it as much as guys, but guys played it. They loved it. Eris wasn't in it, but we still got to jerk off to different Pokemon characters. Charizard. This is a game where you... I remember Jigglypuff was my favorite, really? even though I didn't know shit. You're I just such like, a woman. Jigglypuff. You're such a woman, Phoebe. Jigglypuff. Of course, Jigglypuff is your favorite. Yeah. What is that supposed to... What, do you want me to be less of a woman? Yeah, be less of a woman. You should like uh, <laughs> like uh, Mar- Marowak. Like Zimbo the Marowak. Zamba? This you want to know something, actually? Um, I was in a fraternity, and that was my my name. With Jigglypuff? Jigglypuff. <laughs> oh, my God. You were bullied. I was fat, and I could sing. You were bullied. <laughs> Okay, oh well, God. this is a game where you walk around different towns and you collect Pokemon and you fight them. But there was one town <laughs> called Lavender Town that was much sadder than all the other towns. For one, it's a solemn lavender color, and in the northeast corner of town is a Pokemon graveyard. Yes, I remember this. Yes, and this is the only place in the game that admits that Pokemon die and don't just faint when they faint when they get defeated in battle. Mm-hmm. So it's a creepy ass you town. Fight. Yeah. They would faint, not die. And oh. then you'd take them to the Pokemon hospital and they'd be better. Yeah. But here, there's grave sites of dead Pokemon. In this muted lavender town. If you go into the graveyard, you also encounter Ghost, which is a dead Marowak Pokemon that you can never catch. Uh, oh. But that's not that creepy. The real oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> The real creepy part of Lavender Town is that in the original release of the game in Japan, it was reported that the Lavender Town music contained high-pitched notes that only children can hear that would cause kids to get headaches (laughs) (laughs) and commit suicide. Oh, okay, oh my, Brian. Fuck you, man. You made me laugh at that. I, I hate know, you, Brian. Geez. You think that's funny? These, these these sad little kids committing suicide after going to Lavender Town? No. That's if I saw a kid that hung himself, it would be funny to be like, "Oh, looks like that kid took a trip to Lavender Town." Oh my god. We could gosh. spread that. You want to spread that? <laughs> that's good. I'll, I'll say I'll back pocket that joke for when I see a kid hanging. Yeah. yeah. Jesus, Brian. No, yeah, I back mean, pocket we could it. Save it for like when adults <laughs> back pocket it. Back no, pocket it, Jigglypuff. We'll do this that music. <laughs> This music was actually edited before reaching America, okay? Good. Because Japanese kids couldn't help but commit suicide when hearing it. Jeez. So they, it was like a, it's like a testing ground. So uh, do you want to hear the music? No, I don't. Yeah, I, I'm strong, man. We're going to play the music, and if you're a kid, we won't even be- if you're a kid do, don't listen to this. You're going to kill yourself. So... If you're a there's kid, there's supposed to be like a ringing that we can't hear because we're we don't believe in Santa anymore. Right. If you're a kid, press the forward 15 seconds button f- five times. Skip over the music because you will kill yourself immediately upon hearing this. Lavender Town, Japan. All right, we're, we're coming up to the part that would cause kids to commit suicide. No, okay. I don't want to hear it. There, there, that was it. Did you hear the high-pitched noise? Did you no. hear it? All we couldn't hear it? No. You couldn't no. hear it? It's That's because we're, we're not kids. We're not kids. We can't hear it. All right. Well, Imagine that's... being the guy that composed that and then finding out that kids are killing themselves because <laughs> of the music you composed. Because, but I mean, is it supposed to kill kids? Like, yeah. I'm still a believer. I'm still like I, I, skeptical. Skeptical. Yeah. Well, it's very, <laughs> it's very sad music for a Pokemon game, which is supposed to be a very happy game where you collect birds and shit. And then all of a sudden you go to Lavender Town. There's a graveyard, a ghost, and then kids are killing themselves in real life. I know. It's kind of out of place. <laughs> Yeah, it sounded so creepy. I really didn't it's like it. It's creepy ass music. A lot of a lot of game music is creepy. Speaking, I of- don't think we realize how much what we take in. Uh, yeah, through 
is like it affects us. It, I mean, music affects us so much. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That did that made me feel pretty bad. It made me feel bad. In fact, if you hadn't an experiment, if you hadn't told me about it being like Lavender Town Suicide Kids, I might have still felt really fucked up after listening to that yeah. shit. Imagine like you're supposed to be doing your homework. You're a little Japanese boy or girl. Your parents are really want you to get your homework done, but you instead you're sneaking Pokemon and that's what you're hearing. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> that's bad. And That's a you, bad energy that you, you're absorbing right there. Yeah, that is. Yeah. You're too young for it. You play Pokemon in the bathtub, and then you, you oh never my wake God. up. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, to be you listed. even play video games? 